Yeah. I don't I don't know because when you're talking about basements and and how low is this thing going you're talking about a guy who who you know had conversations with people online meanwhile you got a guy running for comptroller who actually broke the law broke and the law. cheated on his wife and it doesn't seem like any of the same kerfuffle is being built up over over him and very nice to use kerfuffle thank you right? and so, respectfully yeah. I understand the political <laughs> consequences of this and I understand this may sink his campaign I don't know what we're talking about here I mean we're talking about somebody who's just a little too full of themselves and tweeting out to people and sending chat if back and forth. I, 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 I don't see how this is insulting to all women. I don't oh. see how he's sick. I don't see how that line sick? that he. I don't see how the line that he gave at the at the debate last night was a joke or, yeah, or a taking people the wrong that way. Was, Forget the a debate line this, last night. A lot of Time this out. is PC Sorry, piling. Do you on. think that any? Okay. <laughs> do you think for a minute that any job? Let's take New York City. Okay, his honor. To be mayor of New York City, does it require judgment? Yes. Does it require discretion? Yes. Okay. Has he exercised either one of those a scintilla of when he's forget about trying to get the office, but he told everyone, apologized, promised he'd never do it again, and then engaged in the most risky behavior that, by the way, we all know somebody could have blackmailed him with and gotten even exercise things out. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's always coming out. I don't think there's anything blackmailable so when it's constantly in the news. Well, Let's let the yes, that's the problem. Yeah. It's very, very different. You know, we're not justifying one kind of sexual indiscretion versus another. But I think women would say this is different. This is a entirely different conduct. You have people could be 12-year-olds following you on Twitter. You have this anonymity, which makes it a... He's like a, a, a guy that opens his raincoat on the subway. To women, yeah. that's the kind of guy this Back is. Back in the day, that's what he would have been doing more than once. That's absolutely before. right. And, and I, I think... totally agree. It's different than Spitzer. I'm not giving him any credit, and I'm all for Scott Stringer, but no. I think women particularly judge these things very differently. It's, it says something. This came up on, on my show the last two mornings. Is you know, it seems like this does speak to. We just had Nancy Pelosi, so this is this is something that is starting to reflect now on the Democrat Party because you've got a lot of corruption going on here. There's a Democrat state, it's a blue state, it's a blue city, it's a blue county, and you know what? President Obama was just reelected. One of the platforms was all about this war on women. Right now, ground zero for the war on women is New York, and it's being waged okay. by wait, Democrats. Wait, wait, wait. Sheldon time Silver time. Right, wait, on down. I can find a little bit more war on women being waged in states that want to get rid of abortion altogether. But time out. To me, it's not that complicated. I don't know guys like this. I don't want to know people like this, and I certainly don't want to give him the authority that comes along with being a New York City mayor. He's going to be making policy okay, decisions. Okay, but, but Richard, exactly. but, but, but let's be honest. I think we all know guys, whether we want to admit it or not, where they pick up girls on the internet. This is but, different. But I don't know. I don't know this a single guy. Girls. Let me let me just finish. I don't know, and I don't understand your point of view, Andrew. I don't know a single guy that says, "Hey, repeatedly." Let me take a picture of my penis. Here, baby, look at the picture. I mean, Never this is again. nuts. Say no, don't say it. It doesn't <laughs> work. We know what he did. <laughs> it's just, it's nuts. It's offensive to women. Yeah. And he can be blackmailed as the mayor of New York. And let's be honest, we saw the interview with the young lady. I'm not degrading her, but she's looking for her 15 minutes of fame. I mean, but come you say on. That's all I mean, true. He's still putting himself in these positions. And by the way, again, I get it. It's his personal life. The guy's had a kid. He yeah. just put his family through the most yeah. embarrassing thing you can think of. And then after all the mea culpas, doesn't do it once, which is bad enough. Does it at least three times. If you believe three times, I got a bridge for sale for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, the recklessness of this. And that's what sunk, I think, Spitzer in the end, was just the recklessness of all of this. And, and, and if you think we're making much of this, much ado about nothing about this, where was that money coming from to pay for that apartment in Chicago? What, the one he promised, but never, right, or apparently right. promised, well, according well, to her? okay, but he promised job it. Job so, so where was, yeah, right, put right, the job of political kind of aside, how was he going to pay for that? It, it, first of all, it never materialized. So second of all, you know, he was probably just talking. But apparently, apparently but Andrew, 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 go ahead. No, I, I just, I think it's not about the money. It's about the dishonesty, the kind of character. This is a fundamental character flaw. And I really distinguish it. I don't agree with you at all. I think it's highly distinguishable from sexual indiscretion. That is a private matter between a man and his wife or a man and his husband or whatever the situation is. This is a whole world I, in just, which he exercises I'm not looking to lock him up in judgment. But I don't want to give him the keys to great But here's the thing, too. The Andrew's way. making a point about... about uh, about the idea that, you know, Spitzer's not moving the needle. This is the guy that actually broke 
the law. Okay, we're not going to go. No, no, and, and, but I'm just saying. Right? I'm and, just and, saying. And, and, and you know what? On his wife, right. and, and these guys are actually right. had sexual relations with somebody he wasn't married to. Weiner has never been accused of doing that. You might think that he has. You may think there's a smoking gun but out there. But Andrew, He's this to never me been is so much that. worse. And it's not about the legality or illegality. The money that has nothing to do with it. To me, it is he actually was given a second chance. We are forgiving country. Yeah. We are forgiving city. Right. But if you get that second opportunity and you so blasely, uh, blase treat it and treat all of us like not only saps here, but in such a disgusting way, you don't deserve a third bite out of the apple. And I'm not locking him up, but he's not going to get my vote if I vote. The other thing, and that I was just want to say, I don't think Spitzer deserves to get in there. He may be the smartest guy. He, he was not truthful. He was not a good governor. He did nothing right. I just think it's distinguishable. And I think it's very unfortunate in the Spitzer case, the woman got prosecuted. I agree with you about that. I yeah. think that's yeah. very it, unjust. I've got to hit a break here, guys. When we come back, we're going to stay on the subject but pivot here because one of the fascinating byplays out of this was at that press conference yesterday, not just Anthony Weiner looking for yet another mea culpa, but his wife, Uma Abedin. Many considering her for standing by her man and thinking less of her for doing it. Is that fair here? Well, we're going to talk about that, and we're also asking you at home to sound off as well. Do you feel bad for her or less? Do you think less of her now after what we saw yesterday? And that's what we're focusing on. We return, so please stay with us. And later, we will have Andrew's 101 interview with Barbara Buono, the woman who wants to unseat Chris Christie. Please stay with us.